Hey you all, Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the south. More specifically, we are in Disney World in Florida. I have uh, come back to Walt Disney World. I checked, it actually has been 10 months, 10 months since I have been back here uh, to Disney World. Uh, they're having tonight, they're having the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, which I actually enjoy quite a bit. I, I come out here, came out here to, uh, to Central Florida to experience Halloween Horror Nights, to experience some of the other haunted events at the amusement park, but I also like to stop over here to Disney for the kinder, gentler Halloween party here at Mickey's Not So Scary, because while Universal's very scary, SeaWorld is very scary, and Busch Gardens is very scary, Disney's is not so scary. So it's good to spend a night of not screaming, of not <laughs> being terrified. Actually, uh, was here last year for the not so scary uh, Halloween party when a hurricane came through. I actually had to end up leaving the next morning, leaving Florida. I was supposed to, uh, supposed to go to uh, Universal that week, was supposed to do a bunch of uh, amusement parks that week, and ended up having to run off to New Orleans to escape the hurricane. I, did, I didn't end up coming back through and experiencing some of what I had wanted to before, but uh, Luckily, today, no hurricanes on the horizon, so we can get a full experience of the uh, Mickey's not-so-scary Halloween party. So uh, we gotta find a way, we're over here at the Ticket and Transportation Hub, we gotta find us a way to cross that great big lake and get over to the Magic Kingdom. So please, follow me. And as much as I love taking the monorail, I do think the, uh, Ferry boats are actually a, a faster journey when there's a lot of people like this. The uh, party doesn't start until seven, but they let people come in as early as four, so people are pouring in to the park right now. A big old line over there by the monorail. So I think we're gonna we're gonna take the ferry boat, and I uh, I love taking the ferry boat as well. Keep in mind that's ferry, F-E-R-R-Y, boat, not F-A-I-R-Y, boat. I don't know, maybe here at uh, at Disney they start calling it the F-A-I-R-Y boat, you know, because of Tinkerbell and all that. On our way, we will travel one mile across the man-made Seven Seas Lagoon. It's the Polo Oh yeah, look at this. A lot of you, everyone shows up at four. <laughs> everyone wants to get the full value of their tickets, so quite a herd showing up here right at four o'clock. And we are in, heading into the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. And it is great to be back here on the main street of Magic Kingdom all decked out for the fall season. Although it, it does not feel like the fall season here quite yet in Florida. It is, it is pretty toasty. And you know what? I don't think I could tell you the last time I rode this train. Let's, uh, let's hop aboard. I think this is a good place to start. <laughs> Here in the train station, they actually have some of these old penny arcade machines, which is pretty cool. They have the play football game. I don't know if this, does this actually work? Oh yeah, it actually works. It's like an old penny arcade uh, soccer machine. There it is. find us a good seat here on the train. Let's try this one. We're beginning a grand circle tour of the Here we go. It stops along oh, look at that. See the monorails racing us. Sit tight and keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs well inside the train. We're currently departing. See the old queue for Splash Mountain. Just doing some improvements there when it reopens as a uh, Princess and the Frog themed attraction. 
Thunder Mountain is the place. Because there, Backside the trains have a mind of their Thunder own. Mountain. Big Thunder Mountain right there. See the possums hanging from the tree. All right, so we got off the train at the Fantasyland station, which actually lets you out into the storybook circus section. Come over here to Pete's Silly Sideshow, where they're having actually a special meet and greet for the Halloween party. You can meet all seven dwarves. And I do love, uh, I do love this meet and greet section, the, the, uh, the freak show themed attraction here at uh, Walt Disney World. Now, uh, the event hasn't started. People are already getting in line. I'm hoping they maybe open this up a little bit early. So I think I'm actually gonna get in line and see if I can meet uh, all seven dwarves. Very, very rare to get a photo op where there's actually seven characters waiting for you. So I joined the virtual queue for the Tron light cycle, which I've never been on before. Uh, it says I'm in group 201. I don't know if I'm gonna get on or not. It doesn't say what time uh, that would uh, get me back on. So I'll, I'll keep an eye and see uh, see if I do get to ride the light cycle tonight. All right, I've been waiting about 45 minutes in line. It's about six o'clock right now, and uh, they just opened the doors. So it opened the doors an hour early, so we can uh, meet the seven dwarves. All right, and we are headed in. Enter if you dare. Oh yeah, inside the sideshow here. See, normally they have the Mickey and his friends as uh, circus characters here. Oh, uh, see, so you can enter through uh, Pete's mouth here to meet the dwarves. All right, I'm pumped. Getting everyone here inside the circus tent. The dwarves, dwarves have not come out yet. We're all waiting here with uh, with anticipation. Oh, the clapping. It's a good sign. <laughs> Coming? They're coming? Oh! They're in the back of the room. Back of the tent there. Oh look at that. <laughs> they got their got their buckets of gems. Woo! Doors! Oh look, there's so many of them. As we're waiting here for the dwarves, you can hear some crashing thunder coming from the sky. It sounds like it's sounds like it's storming pretty heavy out there. Hey, look at this! We got six to eight dwarves here. Hey guys! Oh, they're all here. We got happy, sleepy, uh, dopey, sneezy, bashful, doc, and oh look at grumpy. He doesn't he doesn't even want to be here. Oh my gosh. It's great to meet all of you. Bye guys! Oh, I love you too. Happy. <laughs> All right, we exit this way. I can hear. I can hear the storm outside. I can hear the the uh, thunder. And uh, so we exit through here. Oh no! Oh dear! <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. That's coming down pretty, pretty hard there. I did get the autographs of all the dwarfs. I was getting really nervous when I was getting up close to them that I would get their names wrong. So I actually did a little, did a little bit of research on the internet on my phone to make sure that I didn't accidentally uh, call any of the dwarves by their wrong name because that would just be embarrassing. All right, I did not bring an umbrella, probably should have, did not check the weather before I left. It seemed nice, but I guess we will just, uh, we will make a run for it. Oh, this was a mistake. Oh, it's so wet and rainy. Oh my goodness. All right, that's how I'm gonna find, just gotta run towards something that's, something that's indoors. Ah, I'm gonna melt in the rain. Yes, it is absolutely, Pouring 
absolutely pouring out here. There's only one place to keep dry. Under the sea. Oh my goodness. You need to run for it into the little burbank. Oh my god, it's so rainy. Oh, look at this. Oh. I cannot believe how wet I just got running from the Storybook Circus to the Little Mermaid. Ironically enough, here in the Little Mermaid, we are finally dry. There is water in my hat. It's completely soaked. It feels so heavy on my head. It's in my shirt. It's completely, it's completely soaked through. This is not how I wanted to begin my Halloween party. Oh man, my, my socks are wet inside my Crocs. But uh, it, it's the way it goes. There's a lot of things you can control. One of them is not the weather. A lot of people had the same idea. People packed in here to get out of the rain. Yeah, it looks like the Little Mermaid he ducked into is actually actually temporary clo temporarily closed so I'm just standing in a queue line now probably should have just stayed and waited and stayed dry at uh, Pete's sideshow at least we can all sit here and enjoy uh, enjoy scuttle Okay, the line just started moving. I think I think the ride may have opened up. Hooray! The clams are running. Uh-oh, the clams stopped again. We have some sort of clam jam happening. Yay! The clams are moving. Looks like the clam inspector. Making sure everything's running right. All right, the clam inspector's given a few more peeks there under the clams, but it looks like, looks like we are running. Uh-oh, we're we getting ready to, getting ready to board the clams here. I think they're, they're waiting for the high sign. All right, and here we are. I've never been so happy to get into a clam before. Finally, we are headed in to the Little Mermaid. Oh good, there's there's Scuttle again. Missed him from the uh, from the queue line. There we go into the sea. Yeah, probably been waiting for about an hour. Well, this has been uh, they've been having some technical difficulties. So happy to finally get uh, on a ride. Oh look, you can see Sebastian poking out in uh, various places. Oh, there he is down there in the helmet. Yeah, I'm so happy to be out of the rain and under the sea, which is ironic because normally under the sea is, uh, is the place where you get wet, not on the land. But today, being under the sea is where we are, uh, where we are drying off. See, even Ariel's uh, getting down under the sea, doing a little, uh, little mermaid dance. There's the fluke, he's the Duke of Soul. Flotsam and Jetsam there. Love the uh, Ursula animatronic. It's uh, kind of a highlight of this ride. I think they changed the lyrics to this in the uh, recent movie, the Kiss the Girl song. And despite the rain, despite the ride shutdowns, we still have a happy ending here. Hey guys. Oh boy, it's actually, uh, it's only raining a little bit out here. Definitely not pouring anymore. A little trickle of rain, but I think we can deal with that. Hooray! Now, my socks did get soaked, so I did have to remove the socks. I have to toss these in the trash. Look at how wet those socks are. Now, they have added some uh, Halloween features 
to the teacups. So about a 15 minute wait, so I think we'll hop on here. The flashing lights, got some fog effects. Always keep your eye on that teapot in the middle. There's a big giant mouse hiding in there. Pops out every, there he goes. See the giant mouse. All right, mad dash to, to find a teacup. All right, that one's claimed. Here we go, this purple one's got my name on it. Oh, there we go. How to get the, par how to get the party started here. Woohoo! Add some spin here. My teacup. All right, Halloween, Halloween teacup disco here. Woo! The big mouth up there behind me. See the handle of the teacup right there. We go twirling by. There we go. Oh, party's over. Okay, rain's rain's picking up a little bit again. Here we have Mr. Toad's wild photo op here. You can't ride Mr. Toad's here at uh, Disney World anymore, but here at the Halloween party you can pose in uh, Mr. Toad's car. Yeah, in my intro I made some comments about uh, at least, uh, at least we're not in a hurricane this year. I had to leave Florida last time because there was a hurricane, but uh, it's clearly not a hurricane. But it was stormy and rainy last year when I was here, and it's stormy and rainy once again. The weather this time of year in Florida very, very unpredictable. See the castle lit up there and some spooky, ominous colors. Ironically, the spookiest attraction in all the park is closed during the Halloween party. The Hall of Presidents. Sadly, the Country Beer Jamboree not open tonight. They're actually using it as a trick-or-treat location. I did want to check it out because they're actually going to be reimagining the show soon and uh, changing the old comedy country songs into Disney songs. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm glad they're not just getting rid of it. I guess that's the one positive. That's right. Right, folks. How's everyone doing tonight? All right. Woo! All right. This is the cadaver dance, or like a, a zombie barber barbershop quartet. About that old haunted mansion up there yeah, on the hill. That's the scariest yeah, place. Yeah. It is the scariest place. How many of you been up there to that old haunted mansion? One, two, six thousand. What are you thinking? Why would you go there? Why would you it do says, that? It says it's haunted. It's right out of the side. Oh, that's my favorite. Green dogs come out to socialize, socialize. When you hear the knell of a requiem bell, we close leave your spirit well. It's gonna haunt your little nightmares. Whoa, well, well, well. What have we here? Look at you, oh, oh. I'm really scared. Oh, so you're the one everybody's talking about. <laughs> oh, look who's over there. Country bears are coming to play. How are you doing? Oh, great to see you. <laughs> oh, 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 you, 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 you want to try my hat on? Oh, it looks great on you. Oh, excellent. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I like your hat too. Oh, thank you. How are you doing? Give a high five. Oh, there you go. I heard you're gonna be singing some Disney songs soon. So you you're up for the, I think you're up for the task. Be, be crooning those those Disney songs. Oh yeah, you'll you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yeah, right. There. Getting all yeah, getting all ready, getting practiced up. Uh, I I can't wait to come see the show. Big Al, Big Al, how are you doing? Oh, uh, 
Get a, yeah, get, 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 get a high five. There we go. Oh, pleasure to see you. Always a pleasure to see you. Oh, yeah, I was sad that the Country Bear Jamboree was closed down, but it looks like they've come out here to uh, to have a uh, have a square dance in the middle of the street. These ain't no normal bears you might see in Magic Kingdom. I know they're everywhere now. However, oh snap! Country Bears! for the parade here um, last year. The parade, they had the, the, the rainy day parade came by instead. So I'm fingers crossed that they're gonna have the actual parade tonight and not the rainy day parade, which is essentially Mickey and his friends on a golf cart. So, uh, fingers crossed. Oh, Tigger, how are you doing? Pooh, how are you doing? <laughs> hey, Pooh. There's the, the Mad Hatter there. Oh, Snow White. Oh, we met Dopey earlier. Wonder where the other, wonder where the other uh, five to six dwarves are. It looks like you got Minnie and Daisy and Clarabelle dressed like the Sanderson sisters from uh, Hocus Pocus. And look, that's the Lost Boys. Hey, Shmi. Hey, Tinkerbell. Guess you got some pirates there with mops. I guess they are swabbing the deck. If you will. Oh, look at this. Here comes the uh, the pirate ship. You got Captain uh, Barbosa there. This apple in front of the front of the ship. Oh, firing cannons into the crowd. Well, here are the ballroom dancers from the haunted mansion. That's pretty amazing. Oh, that's the best there. We got the uh, hitchhiking ghosts on their own float. Oh, there they go. We're hitchhiking. Hitching a ride. Some grave diggers here with their spooky shovels. Oh, careful. Don't walk in those puddles. Oh, there. <laughs> Goofy with his Halloween hoedown there. Doing his little hoedown dance. Oh look, the bears are back. The bears are back. Still uh, having a little hoedown here in the middle of the street. We got Horace Horse Collar there hanging out with the bears. Horace! Boo! Boo! They kill dogs. Good to dog killers. <laughs> Cruella! Stop killing dogs! The skeleton band there. I think they're originally from Hocus Pocus, I believe. Pretty cool. A whole bunch of villains over here. The Wicked Stepsisters. Gaston. I don't know who this guy is, but I really like him. Oh, look how gleeful he is. Oh, there's Gideon. Gideon from from Pinocchio is Honest John. Oh, yeah, Honest John's over there as well. Gideon, Honest John, an actor's life for me. Oh, it looks like we end the parade here with Jafar and Maleficent. Maleficent, one of the most evil Disney characters of all time. All right, as we escape from the parade, actually a little bit of rain starting to drizzle back down. But I would be remiss if I did not ride the Haunted Mansion during the Halloween festivities. We so have some fogginess here in the queue. Looks like we're gonna take a walk through the cemetery here. See all these ghoulish busts here. There's like this one with the guy in the pith helmet with a snake around his neck. It says the composers of note and renown here reposes. His melodies fade as he now decomposes. 
actually touch the grave here and we'll make the noise of the different instruments. And of course the grave of Master Gracie there, the owner of the Haunted Mansion. Looking around. See your eyes looking around there. Or is it your imagination? Hmm? And consider this dismaying observation. Of course, there's always my way. <laughs> All right, and our chariot awaits. Oh, Portraits there that change in the lightning. Up right here in front of Madame Leota. Send us a message from somewhere beyond. Just watch this all day. <laughs> Goblins and ghoulies oh, from ghoulies. last Halloween. Watched all the ghoulies Awakens movies. The spirits they were with great. Your See the ballroom down there. Ghosts appear. Disappear. The dancers, like we saw in the parade. Hey, Bryce. Yeah, I love the graveyard. We see all the different ghosts. Just a ghost overload. Oh, and some jump scares. You gotta watch out for the jump scares. There is jump scares hidden in the haunted mansion. Well, not hidden, they jump right in your face. Sticking there out of the grave. The ghosts hanging out on the uh, tombstones. Our doom buggy's slowing down a little bit to get a little bit of a closer look. I don't mind breaking down on the haunted mansion. Mummy, Egyptian mummy there. Viking saint lady. There they are, the hitchhiking ghosts. Hitching a ride in our bodies. Wanted to check the pet cemetery here, see if they've added Br'er Rabbit yet. Of course, they added Mr. Toad when his ride shut down, but it looks like there's too much fog in the uh, in the cemetery tonight. So I can't quite see. Oh, you can see Mr. Toad peeking out from the fog. There he is. I don't see Br'er Rabbit though. All right, let's peek into. Memento Mori, which is the gift shop for the Haunted Mansion. They do have some uh, Haunted Mansion Crocs. I bought some Haunted Mansion Crocs uh, last year. They actually, uh, they were different than this. They had like the wallpaper on it. I don't like these ones necessarily as much as you can't really, just a lot going on there. And you know what, they are a little, a little pricey for Crocs. A lot of Madame Leota gear, Madame Leota rug. Madame Leota dish towels. I don't know, I am, you know, am moving back into my house. Maybe get some uh, accessories for the bathroom there. It's interesting, this coffee cup shaped like a coffin. Oh, a cough, a cough in cup. A coffin cup. Have your own mini haunted mansion there for $400. And they have the little individual scenes there. Oh, I do love this poster as well. 
the Phantom Five, some of the, the graveyard ghosts playing their instruments there. The bride, Madame Leota there. Yeah, some, some really great stuff. You know, just maybe a little bit of cash to uh, throw around. While I was on Haunted Mansion, they called my number for the Tron light cycle. So we're gonna head over that way. I got about 40 minutes, had to be there by 11. Got about 40 minutes uh, to get over there and uh, catch my ride. Light cycle run. Pretty excited about this. I've never been on this ride before. There they go. Light cycle. So here is our ride vehicle. Here, guess I'll uh, I'll get on here. Make sure. Make sure I. Make sure I fit correctly. Oh, what's happening? What is that thing? Oh, it's just like being in the movie, which I've never seen. Ooh. Yeah, the queue here is pretty cool. All right, so apparently we have to put all our accessories in these lockers here. I don't know how to open this. We'll use our... All right, so I have to stow all loose items in the locker. So probably not gonna be able to show you guys. We don't want me to take this camera on the ride, but I'll, I'll tell you guys what it's like on uh, on the other side. All right. Get my hat here and my wallet. And uh, of course, get you guys. All right. So that was that was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed that. It's, the the ride vehicle is very interesting, but that kind of adds to the experience in a way. It's like when you're sitting down there like on a motorcycle and you, that first launch, you can almost feel like the handlebars like pulling you. It's like a really fun, you go up that first launch. And, uh, and then it was a little uncomfortable, honestly. Like you are kind of contorted and locked into that seat. But at the same time, I think that was also kind of the most unique and fun thing about the ride was that uh, you have that unique seat, that unique experience. You really feel like you are racing in that, uh, in that light cycle. So yeah, definitely give it a thumbs up. Um, it is a little short. It is, you know, a short ride, but um, I think it's I think it's super fun. I, I really like it. Now you know, here on the Carpet Beggar channel, it is always the summer of carousels. And you know what? Somehow, as many times as I've been to Disney World, I don't think I've ever rode on this carousel. Let's change that. All right, let's pick out one of these horses. Look at this, rows of five horses. I don't think I've ever seen a carousel that had rows of five. This, this looks like a mighty steed right here. They're also like the highest carousel horses. See, they actually have like stairs to get to the saddle. And here we go. This is a true army of horses here on the, I think it's Prince Charming's carousel. Yeah, look at all those horses back there. Man, it's like a stampede of carousel horses. I guess there's just no quitting the carousels. I guess I will be riding carousels on this channel 
for the rest of my days. That'll do horse. That'll do. These horses are massive too. This is just an absolute giant carousel horse there. Main streets all lit up here. People lining up for the second parade. Actually, we need to escape before that uh, second parade traps us here at the Magic Kingdom. Uh-oh. See ya real soon. The ominous smoke rising in front of the train station. So thank you for joining me here on a very rainy but eventful evening at uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Uh, appreciate you guys coming along. If you want to, you're following along with the channel, I got some big plans. Uh, so, so please stay tuned for tomorrow. I should have some interesting things uh, going on. Uh, thank you so much for your support. Uh, thank you. Uh, if you do like these uh, videos, please consider subscribing. I travel around the country filming roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, fun houses, and other fun stuff. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider donating to Patreon. Three dollars or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins and Etsy shop as well as doing personalized messages on Cameo. Like I said, stay tuned and uh, we should be having some more Halloween fun on this channel. Until next time, this one's in the bag.